Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and I'm away on vacation with the family right now, but I just discovered something about a couple of pieces of software I use routinely, iReal Pro and Logic, and how to make them work together, and how to figure out what those cool piano voicings are in iReal Pro. Well, I'm going to close the sliding door, and hopefully the pool sound won't percolate into the voiceover. So let's go over to the DAW. Okay, I'm back. Uh, as I said, I'm in the hotel room, so the sound is going to be bad. And we'll definitely hear, you know, music, uh, hotel music, and uh, chortling children um, through the walls. But hey, listen, if you've ever thought of yourself as a, a jazz player or wanted to learn stuff about jazz, you've probably looked at iReal Pro. It's uh, essentially a, a, a music minus one app. And here I have it set to play the song I'll Remember April. It plays the chords, bass, and drums. You can choose a variety of different instruments to uh, handle the chording and uh, different styles of bass and just clicks if you prefer. Set the tempo, set the key, and off we go. Now it has instruments built into it as a playback and um, not the worst thing in the world. I actually use it to practice a lot. One great thing about this is they've done a pretty good job. We'll just listen to the piano. Of voicing these piano chords. But there's no way to figure it out unless you're listening. Well, I discovered yesterday as I was playing around with this that there's a share button up in the upper right hand corner. Now, I'm not sure that this exists in the phone version of the app, but here it is on the desktop and it's an inexpensive piece of software. Now, if I decide to share audio, that's obvious. It's simple enough to do. You could just save as a WAV file and you get a pretty good version of it and it'll do it, you know, for as long as you have it set to repeat. But under the format pull down, you also can choose save as MIDI and it exports a well, you see, I've done it already. A standard MIDI file, which can be dragged into any app. I've dragged it into Logic. Let's take a look at uh, what I got. Here's my Logic session. And, and as you can see, I've imported not only the WAV file, the audio, but also these three individual MIDI tracks. We'll listen to those in a moment. The, uh, the WAV file just sounds, you know, like it came out of iReal Pro. Pretty good. It's a very sort of flat sounding piano. It's not dynamic at all. But, you know, good. Okay, of course, the real question is, what would it sound like um, with decent samples? So I've used a, a piano tech and then a contact bass and then the drum kit from Logic. Well, it's a much overall better sound. Of course, I have a lot more control over the mix. Here's what was delightful for me. Okay, so I'm particularly interested in um, the notes of the piano track, right? I mean, what are those voicings? Well, we'll want to be able to look at them uh, in detail and maybe uh, work on them a little bit. Here you can see exactly what the track was playing. In fact, let's just kind of solo that track and listen to it. They're generally speaking pretty strong voicings. You can see the voicings are over the seventh sometimes. Uh, the wide open voicings and clustered seconds give it a lot of spiciness. Now here's what I discovered when I imported it and took a close look at it. The velocities were just all the same. And it just wasn't that interesting, at least in the piano part. And it's kind of surprised me, but I guess, you know, what are you going to do? So what I've done is I've used a Logic plugin to uh, randomize the velocities of the piano in order to give it a little more um, juice. There's the input range. And since the input range is just 110, let's widen it out and suddenly I get a little more vitality in the piano sound. 
I didn't have to do that with the bass and drums. For some reason, the bass and drums came out with nice, good, you know, velocity variation, but there it is. Well, if you're interested in fun voicings, if you're interested in uh, rootless voicings, if you're interested in, you know, sort of well thought out conventional voicings for jazz tunes or almost anything, because of course, iReal Pro has a bunch of different styles baked in. This is just a swing style. There's lots of other styles. It's a great way to dig in and figure out some things right there on the screen. You don't have to read music. You can just look at it. You can grab that MIDI and import it, try a different sound, try a road sound, try a pad. It's almost like uh, you've got a session player talking to you about how to handle the tune. Really exciting for me and really fun. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell. You'll be notified when I do my videos. And uh, I'll see you next time.